Did you have any friends outside of the killing game? Um... No, not particularly. Dracul was my first proper friend. My tutoring was private and I spent most of my time studying. I wasn't particularly around people my own age. Occasionally my parents would meet with other parents in academia. Have a nice little wine and cheese evening while they discuss what their next publication would be. At these meetings it wasn't uncommon for other families to bring around their children. But that was less friendship, more of a run along now and show the other person your age how much more talented you are than them. That's just how it was. We all knew it. It was courteous, of course. But it was all about staying on top, showing how much better we were than other families. It was... shallow. I'd rather not have been friends with those sorts of kids. Which is why I was a little concerned when I saw Higashi here. He looked just like the most frustrating little boy I knew as a child. Luckily, his name doesn't ring a bell. Not like it would change my opinions on that man. Do you watch anime? No, I'm not a child. My parents held a distaste for that sort of degrading media, and I'd have to agree. It's not just anime, it seems every other year some Hollywood cash grab or misinformed young artist tries to start something inspired by mythology. And in my opinion, the only thing they're good for is rolling your eyes out. Perhaps I'd be more open to more modern media in the future, but people in my sort of circles aren't the biggest fans of change. For ancient Greek, do you prefer the Aetacist or the Aeotacist pronunciation? If you prefer the former, why do you pronounce your name according to the Aeotacist pronunciation? If you prefer the latter, why do you prefer it over the former? Aeotacist. It's easier for me to speak when needed, as it's more similar to what I'm familiar with. I appreciate the effort of those who prefer to exclusively use Aeotacist pronunciations. But after you were raised with knowing your name heard through the Aeotacist pronunciation, it's a little hard to switch it. And it would feel wrong to read everything else with an editor's pronunciation and then exclusively say my name with the Iotis's pronunciation. How is it being best girl? Wonderful, quite frankly. I am glad you know exactly what I am. Hey Ismini, what's your favorite Greek goddess? Mine is Persephone. I quite enjoy Persephone. Her reduction in importance and misinterpretation of her? Less so. My favorite goddess has to be Eris. Perhaps her role is fairly simple and we have far less sources of her compared to other figures in mythology. But the enigmatic way she seems to be above the other gods in her own way draws me to her. I know it sounds quite terrible, but I've always been drawn to things that break the mundane and cause a little bit of chaos. Where did your adoration for mythology start? It's sweet you think I had a choice. It's not an adoration, it's what was decided for me to do. So I did it. I enjoy it, sure, but I'm under no pretense that I chose this for myself. How did you feel when you became the ultimate mythologist? Unsurprised. I expected it. I would have preferred ultimate classicist, but I'm glad I met the expectations people had of me. I suppose I was relieved. I don't know what my parents would have done if I didn't get an ultimate and quite frankly I don't want to think about it. If you could have another slash second ultimate talent, what would it be? I said before, classicist. But if I was allowed to have a slightly more silly talent, I suppose it could be quite humorous to be the ultimate Mina. It would be nice to get rid of all the responsibilities and expectations of the world and drink myself into mania, letting my hair flow in the wind as I make free love with backhands and minas around. No worries in my head, just Singing and dancing. Why? To be so free would be a dream. But, um, <clears throat> it is unrealistic. Who scares you the most out of all the people you're trapped with? Why? I'm not scared of Ayanara. He's entirely and utterly pathetic to me. A dirty little mutt who needs a good kick. He's the one most seem afraid of. Or alarmed. 
I suppose. Perhaps I fear Shinku a little bit. I feel there's something behind those eyes. Something personal for me. When no one else is around, I sometimes see him staring off into nothing. I feel like he isn't even a person. But I feel I have power over him. Slightly. That grants me relief. Higashi unnerves me. But another feeling I have towards him diminishes any fear I have. I suppose it becomes no longer scary when you've thought about what I have. He doesn't know what I do. And he doesn't know what I notice when he's staring at me. What are your opinions on the current alive cast members? Who would you want to survive the most out of the currently alive? Well, I've already touched on Higashi, Ainara, and Shinko, so I shan't be repetitive. I can't say I care much for Hino. I feel condolences for her loss, but I don't fully understand what they expected after what Takahiro did. Still, maybe she'll become more mature after this. Similarly, I find Takiko rather irritating. But I couldn't say I hate her. That would be unfair to liar. Chizuki is in a similar situation to Ushina. However, I have very little reason to restrain my dislike in this instance. Albeit he is at least somewhat intelligent. Regardless, I don't think either of those three will live. Unfortunately, I don't see Mint lasting much longer. Which is a shame because he is tolerable. I almost quite like him, but he's rather weak-willed. And I did try to be patient with him, but his stuttering grew to annoy me. Alora, on the other hand, I've maintained quite a high level of mutual respect towards. She seems to be drawing away from me recently. I shan't blame her. I don't particularly care. But I respect and rather like her. If anyone will survive here, aside from me, it will be her. I think she, and possibly Shinko, will get out. Maybe that's just wistful thinking on the part of the latter. I missed someone? I don't think I did. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you a thing. I quite enjoy secrets. I like withholding my thoughts on those who I find special. Names, even. It's like I have a part of them all to myself. And only myself. And that makes me feel... pleasant. I wistfully think, but I'm not delusional. We've seen what being deluded around her has done to some others. Uh, interesting question. You're going to hell. 